Okay, so we are on another podcast with my good friend James King, who runs the social media side of the business for us at Practice Bloom and Customer Bloom. We are talking today about Laser Body. It's a client that has left us, come back. And why did they come back, James? So maybe they could make a million dollars with us. Not, one point not, two million. <laughs> not just one million, but one point two million dollars. So so let's talk about this. I mean, it's a great success story. Uh, it really proves our ability to, you know, look at this from a larger perspective. But in this case, I think what's interesting was that um, we knew about this business going through COVID challenges. And that's part of the reason why initially they dropped off from us because really they didn't have any business because everything was shut down. This is in Canada. And with, I think, uh, 11 locations, but it's uh, some it's a, they know. just well no it's it's they're up to seven now seven they opened up seven more. they had five and now they yep. opened up two more yep so so we knew this was a pretty complex arrangement because there's a lot of moving parts with seven locations and i think at the end of the day you know what what really was i think in part of our process was helping them organize this correctly and come up with good sort of clean line strategies that you know, took the mess out of what they were trying to initially do. And then, you know, we obviously um, had a pretty substantial spend there, which is great because we get a lot of data from that. So that helps us arrange our retargeting properly and all the things that go along with, with Facebook ads. So let's go through this. And, you know, again, another five to one return on investment, uh, which we kind of see is common in the Facebook world. If you can sort of think through most of the conversion data that we get, we see that, you know, if you spend a dollar, you get prime locations like this, where it's a, a major city. You should be getting five back for the spend if you're doing things correctly operationally. So talk to me a little bit about what you've, you've seen here and maybe just a few seconds of history, uh, you know, because I think this is also to set the table. Sure, sure. So, yeah, like you said, we were with them before COVID. They brought things in-house during COVID. Uh, long story short, that didn't work out so well. Their return was nowhere near what we were getting them. Um, we jumped back in in November, uh, really started getting fired up around December. Uh, and what we had done, you know, this client has no problem spending. As you can see here, you know, since January 1st, they spent $200,000. So that wasn't the problem. His problem is he wants to spend too much too fast on Facebook. He doesn't realize that Facebook has limited ad space. So the way you set up these accounts going forward, You've got to use that that money wisely. They were just pumping it into just leads, right? Just trying to buy the pot, so to say, you know, using a poker reference. And that doesn't work. So when we came in, what we had done, what I started doing again was I filled in every level of the ad funnel, starting from the awareness, right, down to visiting the site, then following up and actually getting leads and making purchases ultimately. All right. So at the top of the of the funnel, it was putting up boosted posts, right? And using those video views, full video views for retargeting purposes down the line. And also sending a ton of traffic to their website. And then again, sending the traffic back to their retarget. Then you have the lead generation, right? So we had a more diverse approach to their campaign. So it just wasn't trying to shove all this into just leads. It doesn't work like that, especially when you're spending that much money, because here's the thing, Facebook's big, it's huge, millions of people on it, but guess what? In a region, there's X amount of space on their ad, on their feeds. You can't put more ads, you can't find more space because you know other organic content's gotta live there. So we got a nice spread. And now what they did was, and I'll just show you here, you know, they send this every week we have our meeting and they kind of show all of the updates. And you know, in January, for a slow month, still made 300,000, which was above what they had done year to year last year. Now last year they were shut down, but still we went over about, about 50,000 more than the year before. And then it started going up in no, uh, February up to 383. Then, and here it is, March, we're up to 421. And this is the thing, March is not done yet because what they do is the way they track their leads, their call center is if it came in in March, they mark it as a March lead. Even though they may have booked it out in April or May, they still, you know, uh, give to to the march i think so we're at 421 our meeting yesterday they told us there's enough to well go past five hundred thousand dollars if we can get them all in the door which it looks like they are they're at right. a half a million and now april april is april is very you know big month and 
they should already have 69,000 that booked in April and paid in April. So within these first 15 days, I've already gotten $70,000 business. That's not to say that people have booked out of April and haven't booked yet. So it's gonna, it's gonna match probably much with March or even more and go right above it because we are way past where we were in March at the same time. So it's looking good, that's how it works. But now let me just show you some of the, the ads. They're running everything, the full gamut. They're literally running every, basically every service they offer outside of maybe a couple. You know, right. they do all therapy, hydrofacials, M sculpt, body sculpting, Venus legacy, skin tightening, Botox, laser hair removal, cool sculpting, web traffic. Right. And what I did also, there was some campaigns that were working before I came in. I kept them running and they're doing just they're doing great. They get really good cost per lead. But this really ultimately what I want to show people in this video is that if you do spend on Facebook and you do do it correctly, yes, you make a return. Simple as that. You know, they've spent two hundred thousand dollars. They have five locations. They just opened up the last two. So put dedicate that to five. You know, what does that come out to be? 40,000 location over the last three months. They're spending basically about, I don't know, six, seven, eight thousand dollars per location if you break it out evenly. And they make the money back five to one, some locations, six, seven to one. Right. So if you spend and you spend it accurately and correctly, guaranteed, well, guaranteed when you work with us, <laughs> you're going to make your return. All right. Most people don't do that. And that's why a lot of people come back to us. Right. And here's another thing. And just, just to carry on their team. I meet with their team every week. And one of the things that a lot of people advertisers do, right. And I, I push back against it. And that's why they brought me back in. Cause I pushed back. The other guy was a yes guy. They want to just change things sometimes for the sake of changing them. But if you're getting cost per leads in the low teens and you're booking them like crazy, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Right. If things start trending after two, three weeks and things are going down, then you have to reassess. But in their case, that hasn't been the case. There's little dips here and there, like a weak dip for whatever reason, but then it comes right back up again. And those are the times that the last guy or another agency might do and go, all right, switch it up, change up all the creatives, get a different offer and slow, pause, wait, see if it's a trend and then move forward. And, and you'll see, basically they listen to me. And them listening to me gets them a five to one since January 1st to date, April 15th. This is how they're doing. And they're doing great. And they, you know, the, the meetings every week are nice and easy and quick. And they see and they're happy and they're booking. And that's what this is all about, man. I always say that to people. I say, you know, if you just let us drive, we know there will be challenges. But we've done this for so long. We know what challenges they are and can drive around them without too much happenstance. And I think the question becomes when there's a lot of people in the fold, when there's a lot of thought process, and even though some of those thoughts could be good, we tend to basically say that, you know, in Facebook world, when you have something, when it works, and it works consistently, the last thing you want to do is interrupt that pattern. Even though you know you could probably do somewhat slightly better, or maybe you know, have some sort of additional conversional aspects that might be somewhat better. But the challenge is, is that once you start that, it makes Facebook relearn everything. And now you don't know if it's going to relearn in the same sequence order it did before. And then right. that algorithm isn't, isn't going to find that same uh, syncopation. So I think a lot of the challenge when we face with people that are starting with us, you know, I, and this is sort of, I think, indicates where we try and give people the, the right information, which is that it takes 90 days really at the end of the rope here where you're gonna have sort of an understanding of your, what would make sense for the algorithm to, uh, to pick the right client. Because it's that first month is learning, the second month is adjusting, and then the third month typically is when it gets kind of glued in. And it's like, if you can make it through that first 100 days, you know, things get, really a lot better and and this is based not off of our actions it's based off of facebook's actions because the algorithm has to get it enough conversions to get a target built correct correct and just a little inside baseball maybe you put like a little graphic of a baseball going right now but what happens is and this is very important for people to understand this like i said facebook has a limited space on the feed right and sometimes things will be running perfectly and this happened last week with this client. 
and all of a sudden you're averaging 80 leads a day and all of a sudden for one or two days it goes down to 40 30 right they freak out but then it comes back up what facebook is doing with that what facebook is telling you without telling you is listen another big advertiser came into the feed we've got to recalibrate the algorithm the ad algorithm to squeeze them back in once we squeeze them back in and find a way to get them in without overbearing the feed we'll get you back up to where you are and that goes to your point of after those 100 days right the facebook knows you're an advertiser you've been here for quite some time you have a legacy in this case this is a particular uh account that's like that been running for two three you know i just to give you a a, a snapshot from 2019 these people have spent almost a million dollars 900 or 950 thousand dollars so facebook recognizes okay these are real advertisers they're not coming in for a one month hit right trying to spend all they can and get everything so you could see it with these and and if you have a count like that well, you've been running advertising on a certain level, five, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 a month. Just hang tight. Things go down for a second. They come back up. Just, you know, and be patient. And it took about a year and a half with this client for him to understand that. But now he does. <laughs> and he's yeah. quiet. And he sees it. And he's happy. You know? Well, yeah, he's right. Data. And, and so I'll, I'll wrap this up by saying that, you know, a lot of people, that these numbers are, outrageous to them a million dollars of advertising over a year is is unfathomable by most sure. of our clients so but if let's just take this down to a window of a week's worth of time right so in, in a week they spent ten thousand dollars but they also made and we talked about this before we we saw the numbers they made seventy thousand dollars so and, and that's not even counting what's coming from this right there's still going to be additional so it's a seven to one and obviously we're in april so we expect you know this is a high season spring season yeah. so we get so but you know let's take it down to just yesterday so maybe we could see like a reasonable just frame of numbers um so two thousand dollars yesterday and they ended up with um it looks to be about 30 or 40 Leave. No, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Well, hold on, I'll tell you. Yesterday, and this is our wonderful profit engines system right here. But we could do yesterday, the twenty fourth. They came in with sixty nine yeah. leads. Sixty nine leads. So two thousand dollars, sixty nine leads, and that to me is about. If you think about like a typical small med spa, two thousand dollars is their monthly spend. Sure. Right? The 69 leads, what does that represent in dollars, you know, for a med spa? Typically, let's say they cut over, I, I'm gonna be on the low end of this, let's say it's 30%. This just go very low. Like they only they only close 30% of those leads. That is gonna be, you know, an average ticket sale, even on the lowest end of $500, let's say for a very small Botox, you know, two $1, sessions. Dollars. You're yeah. still at 10,000 for two, because you're still back at five to one. So these numbers yeah. all tend to prove out themselves over and over and over again if you do it right. Thanks, James. I appreciate your time, and we look forward to our next session. Great, great. Yeah.